what's the difference between a second, third, um, sixth and seventh as opposed to a fourth, fifth and octave? Well, um, seconds, thirds, um, sixths and sevenths. Yeah. All can be changed in multiple ways. And with the perfect fifth and fourth, fifth and eighth, oh. can't really change. You can only change them in like two ways, and they're augmented and diminished. Great. That's a that's a good way of of, of looking at it. What's a uh, a minor sixth? Minor. G two E flat. Hey, Vishan popped up well and with the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alex, can you turn it into an augmented fourth, please? You can do it two ways, can't you? You can either alter the bottom note or alter the top note. Um, okay, Alex, let's do G major and I want a uh, major six. So what would a major six be? Ah, uh, um, a major. major six would be um, G to E, right? G to E? Yes. Eight demi semi quavers is a crotchet. Four demi semi quavers ah, is a quaver. Shit. Is that where you've got your extra half of a beat? Uh, I think so. I got it. The bar line? Uh, no, because that's after the crotchet rest, that's two beats. Uh, Isn't it? Because the four demis and one quaver is one crotchet. Then you've got a crotchet rest. Then you've got four demis and one quaver, which is another crotchet. Then you've got a crotchet rest. That is four beats.